127 kilohertz. 1,000 watts. 900 watts. The world's dependent on energy. So why not make it renewable? By the year 2050, America's population is expected to grow by nearly 130 million people. As America, we are dependent on fossil fuels. The U.S. spends roughly $1 trillion a year on coal, oil, and natural gases, which is 85% of our energy supply. For every $10 you spend, 10 cents is likely to go towards the purchase of energy. Now, we are all dependent on energy. But wouldn't it be nice to choose the ones that benefit our children? That for years to come, to live in a greener world and a more efficient place. We've come a long way since about 50 years ago. What with solar-powered energy, hydroelectricity, and wind power. But there's only one problem with all that. We need to find a way to store that energy. And a way to carry it for longer distances. Something both the U.S. and other countries are all working for. Although America falls behind in some world percentages, and leads in others, we are all searching for new ways to store and save energy. One day we might find ourselves at the top of those lists. We all have the power. All we need now is a way to harness it. This isn't the end for renewable energy. It's only the beginning.